do I have to create content? Do I have to show up? Do I have to create videos? Do I have to, like, I don't, I don't want to be famous. I don't want to be known. Can I just do the work and my work will speak for myself? And I will get promotion, I will get business, I will get my next opportunity, I will make career move because I'm so good at what I do. People, people should just see it. I want my work to speak for my for itself. I don't want to speak for my work. I don't I, I don't want to show up. After working in tech for so many years, you might be questioning yourself. What can I do more? What can I do better? You might you might want more responsibility, more growth, more authority. And here's the thing. You have a lot of experience. A lot of experience building software, teaching people how to do coding, how to build software, leading project managing project and you might be wondering what is next for me what is next for me and it's a, it's a wonderful question and i invite you to think about this i always say that to find a meaningful path it's important to find your zone of genius your niche something that you're good at or something that you really love and your niche, it can be a, com a combination of your uh, technical skills or unique skills or unique projects that uh, you worked on. It also can be an industry that you have influence in. It can also be a type of work that you are doing or an, a group of people that you are helping. And I think the first step to figure out your purpose, figure out your uh, next step is to figure out your niche. What you're good at? Because often we are so scattered. Because here's the thing, tech industry is a very vast and wide industry. You can do anything and everything you can do many things but and this is where a lot of tech professionals getting lost because they don't know they don't see their zone of genius so the first step is to narrow down and also i often hear from people do I have to create content? Do I have to show up? Do I have to create videos? Do I have like, I don't, I don't want to be famous. I don't want to be known. Can I just do the work and my work will speak for myself and I will get promotion. I will get business. I will get my next opportunity. I will make career move because I'm so good at what I do. People, people should just see it. I want my work to speak for my for itself. I don't want to speak for my work. I don't I, I don't want to show up. And it's understandable, but I, I I have a question for you. Why don't you want to show up? What is stopping you from showing up? Why don't you want to show up? And I think deep down You're not confident enough that you're a subject matter expert. Deep down, you doubt yourself. Deep down, you don't want to be seen. But what is your why? What is, what is the why behind you being in tech? Do you want a good career? Do you want a um, good income? You want to you wanna support your family? And let's be honest, a lot of us in tech, we are here because of, of, of the money. Tech is a very profitable industry and you can make a lot of money in tech and you can support. And, you know, when I say a lot of money, 
you can live comfortably and you can support your loved ones you can support your family you you don't have to necessarily live paycheck to paycheck that was my story it was liberating finally not to live paycheck to paycheck that was so liberating for me and and that's it and and that's okay it's okay to be honest and say I'm here because of the money, but also you have such an incredible experience. You know a lot and you can help people. You can help teams, you can help people. You 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 can now you just need to step in into your authority. And the first step to of stepping you stepping into your authority and start showing up and it's not about being content creator it's not about being content creator i am not a content creator i create content all the time every week every day well, I batch my content. I, I have one day when I create all the content and then I post it. One day. I don't create content every day. It's just one day, batch the content for the entire week and post it. Sometimes one day for a couple of weeks or even for a month and post it and schedule it. Because like, I, listen, I don't have time to create content. I do not have time to create content. I have one day certain hours of the day to create my content to show up and that's it so here's a little tip for you you don't you don't have to create content every day because like a lot of people get overwhelmed like oh my god i have to be only in every single day i have to post every single day no you have to just schedule for every single day you 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 pick a day you create your three to five pieces of content and you schedule it boom and that's it easy You are not a content creator. And if you think that you, all of a sudden you're going to be famous, like everybody is going to know you, uh, and this is simply not true. Like, I've been on YouTube since 2017. I've been creating video content since 2017. I was sharing it on Twitter. I've been sharing it on LinkedIn. And yet a lot of people don't know me. A lot of people don't know me. Consistency is the key, but a lot of people don't know me. Also, I had slow seasons in my content creation. I would keep showing up as an expert, but I had slow seasons. So no, I'm not a celebrity. I'm not a content creator. I use my content to speak to my customer, to put myself out there, and to deliver my message to my niche. To my, to my people. I'm not talking to everybody and anybody. I'm talking to my niche. Very specific group of people. And yes, in my niche, yes, I, I am known. Because look, I like I I have so much to offer that like I have to claim my authority. And some of you some of you might feel that well, I don't feel like a subject matter expert. Well, this is your imposter syndrome. This is this is not true, because you've been doing it for so long that you are indeed your like your subject matter expert. You are the expert. You are the industry expert. Like all you need to do is just trust yourself, because when you work more than three years in one industry doing one thing you are an expert you are an expert you know more than your junior professional junior developer or a person who who is just starting out to do what you do and you already know you already know ins and outs in your industry that alone puts you as an expert that alone puts you as an expert. All I am inviting you to do is to ask yourself, what is preventing you from showing up? 
what is one thing that preventing you from showing up authentically as yourself? All you need to do is just show up. Just claim your authority. Admit your authority. Say yes. Yes, I am that subject matter expert. Yes, I I do have the experience. Yes, I can help teams, people, and industry. And when you when you get that in that zone, then you discover your superpower. You um you have insights how to leverage that into your own business and maybe branch out to coaching mentorship teaching others how to do the thing that you do or teaching others how to do how to be industry experts you can leverage your knowledge you can help people leveraging what you know leveraging what you do many people many teams will benefit from what you do because let's be honest let's just be honest not a lot of people not a lot of people in tech have those expertise and uh, i talk to a lot of people and uh, i talk to a lot of people who are who have that desire to have that authority to have that desire to go to the next level and that is an indicator that you are indeed a subject matter expert that you know what you do and you want more because you know your craft well you want more because you know your craft well and that's why you need to show up that's what you need uh, that's what you need to uh, keep showing up that's why people need your content and it's not just about you putting yourself out there it, it, it is like one thing you need to understand like you're going to bless so many people by your content and by your showing up and sharing your knowledge. So, so many people because what you have is gold. And when you are not showing up, I know you want to help more people. I want to, I, I know you want to have larger impact and why you're not. And when you're not showing up, you are robbing people of your expertise. Yes, you are robbing people of your expertise, of the knowledge, of your impact. So, show up. Show up. Your people need you. The industry needs you. And you have a lot to bring to the table. So, just show up.